Hey everybody, this is Jesse. I'm Nancy. And you already know Oshi. And this is our first vlog, the questions and answers vlog. Um, so without further ado, we're going to get right into it because we actually tried to do this yesterday and ended up taking like 30 minutes because <laughs> we tried to ever answer every single question. So yeah. we're going to try and go as fast as we can through these but still give you a good enough answer to hopefully satisfy you. And yeah, so we'll go ahead and get started. So I go first? Yeah. Tammy LeBlanc asked, have you thought about getting Oshi a brother or sister golden to keep him company when he's home alone? Double trouble. Uh, now I'm sure he's a good boy. Um, yeah, he's a very good boy. And uh, yeah, we're thinking about getting him a brother or sister. But we're literally about to move in the next couple of months to San Diego, California. And uh, hopefully once we're settled in and uh, everything is good, then we'll, we'll think about getting another puppy. Um, so Josh McCow asked, um, when did you decide Oshi should be a YouTube star and why? Um, I never really planned for him to be a YouTube star, but I have a blog um, that I post photos on. I'm a hobbyist photographer, um, and I wanted to post videos to it, so YouTube was free to host them. So I started posting them on YouTube, and they started getting a little bit of popularity, so I decided to keep shooting them, and uh, that's kind of how it happened. Yep. And now we have 2,300 subscribers, which is crazy, so thank, thank you, you very much. Yeah. All right, Brandon Yoder asks, do you have any tips for someone who is preparing for a golden retriever pup? And also, how do you train him not to run off into other people's yards? So, the way to prepare to get a golden is just make sure you have everything you need. I mean, you'll need a crate, um, you'll need, obviously, a collar and a leash, some food, and uh, a little chew toy here and there, and uh, definitely, um, what else do you recommend? I mean, that's pretty much it. Just yeah. have a vet, a, a vet ready that you want to go to, yeah. toys, food, brushes, a crate if you're in a crate train. Yeah. And then as far as um, not getting him to run away to other people's yards, I mean, he really doesn't even like to be outside unless we're out there. And also, because we don't have a fence, which I think, I'm jumping ahead, someone already asked that question. Uh, so this is kind of an answer for that. But we, because we don't have a fence, if he's outside, we're outside. Um, yeah. I think it's just responsible uh, dog ownership for us to do that. So. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Uh, so Corbin Dennis asked, how many people ask if they could pet your dog a day? Um, the town we live in is not super populated, at least the neighborhood we're in. Um, and we don't go out a ton because there's not a lot to do. Um, so every day, not that many. But if we take him to one of the bigger towns about an hour away like and walk around with him, everyone's always asking to pet him. So I don't have the exact number, but whenever he's out and about amongst the people, uh, People are always asking to pet him and, and yeah, you know, he loves talk it, to him. So. So. Okay. Um, Beverly Warsiniak asked, uh, I just love watching Oshi. How do you keep Oshi from running away? Not that he would because he just loves you guys so much. Are you guys going to uh, breed him? And if you do, I would be very interested. Um, well, thank you. You know, obviously we love Oshi too, and I'm glad you guys love watching Oshi. Um, but uh, from running away, so yeah, we don't have a fence in our yard like we mentioned earlier. And uh, but ever since Oshi was a puppy, if he got anywhere near the road, we would tell him to stop, turn around, and go back. And uh, so he kind of just does that on his own now. He'll go down there and then he'll turn around, and uh, so that he doesn't run away. And plus, he doesn't like being outside by himself. We have to go outside with him. So he pretty much he he listens. So um, and uh, breeding him, I mean, we've thought about it. We're just not, you know, for sure gonna do it yet, obviously. Uh, but maybe, yeah, something. Will yeah, maybe one insane. day, but we'll we'll see what happens. Yeah. Um, let's see, Flame sixty five asks, "What's the hair removal process for the home?" I think this was another, not super Popular common question, question, but a couple people asked it. Um, it's nothing crazy. We vacuum a couple times a week. I have a little dust mop for the areas that don't have carpet that I can get up the hair. Uh, and then just stay on top of the brushing, brush him a couple times a week. And that's pretty much it. It's nothing crazy. I mean, he does shed a lot, um, but it's manageable. Those tumbleweeds around the house. <laughs> All right. Shraddha Chef asked, what's the naughtiest thing Oshi has ever done? Also, does Oshi have any food allergies? We have a golden, and we've heard from many other golden owners that this breed of dog is notorious for allergies, chicken and grain especially. Um, so, no, Oshi doesn't have any food allergies. Um... That we know of he's never had any issues with any of the food that he's ever eaten um but uh the naughtiest thing that oshi has ever done he's not he's never done anything too bad but he has eaten 
a few pairs of my underwear. Um, he went into the laundry basket, pulled the underwear out, and he ate it, and luckily he passed it. Um, but we kind of told him, like, no, you're not supposed to do that. And I think he's learned his lesson. Yeah. And we kind of tried to uh, keep the laundry basket yeah. away. Small you know? clothing items get yeah. stored somewhere where you can't get them at all yeah. times. Even when people come over, we let them know, like, don't leave socks or underwear lying around. Oh, she will grab them and uh, probably try and eat them. Yep. <clears throat> but, yeah. So, Storm Marines asked, what gave you the idea to start making these videos about Oshie? Well, I kind of already answered that one. Basically, like I said, just... Uh, for my blog and then it got popular so I kept making them. Yeah. Nizzo Foshizzo asked, thanks for all the great content. I'm considering a golden as my first dog. Will I be overwhelmed by the brushing and shedding cleanup that are required? So obviously, obviously goldens are a great first dog. Um, but Oshi did not start shedding until he was about five or six months old. Um, but once he did start shedding, then obviously it got a little crazy. So we brush them at least a couple of times a week, and obviously we try to vacuum, you know, every day to, to keep up with the, the hair and stuff. Um, but it's really not that bad, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let's see. NMTMEV asked, do you guys groom them yourselves? No, we don't. Um, I don't want to make him look terrible and do a hack job on him, so we, we <laughs> take him somewhere. Before. We take him somewhere, usually about once a month. We bathe him here ourselves if we go to the beach or he gets dirty, yeah. uh, but we take him to a groomer, and he actually just got groomed yesterday, so yep. he looks all handsome. So handsome. Okay. GGN Tech said, I love the videos. Is Oshi your first golden, and how did you come up with his name? So, yes, Oshi is my first dog, my first golden, um, and uh, so... Um, we came up with his name, so we're huge hockey fans. We both play hockey, we both watch hockey, and uh, there's a hockey player named TJ Oshie, um, and we watched him play during the uh, Winter Olympics in 2014, and that's kind of where we decided to name Oshie. Yeah, he scored Oshie. a bunch of ridiculous goals in, in a shootout, and we were like, that's a really cool name. Against and, Russia. <laughs> and uh, we needed a cool name for Oshie, so that's how we made it. Yep, and he looks like an Oshie. Um, Ray Finkel, but it looks like it's Scott and Melissa is what they signed off as. They asked, uh, hey, my wife and I are wondering if you guys ever had concerns about Oshi running away outside. Okay, so yeah, we've already had this question. Um, no, we don't. We, we, we are out there pretty much 95% of the time with him if he's outside. And if he's not outside with us, it's only for like a minute or two and then we go out with him. So, yeah. Yep. So, Loco Green 915 asks, what state are you guys living in and what do you do for a living? So... I'm a lieutenant in the Marine Corps. I am a supply officer, and uh, we were stationed here in Jacksonville, North Carolina, so this is where I live, where we live. And I uh, was a Marine, but I've been out for a while now, and I, I work uh, IT. I'm a uh, information insurance tech on one of the bases here as well. So. Yeah, I'm gonna... um, Tim, who 6001, asked, how did you train Oshi to carry mom's lunchbox? Uh, we actually didn't really train him. Being a retriever, it's, I guess, just kind of in his blood. He wants to carry things. He usually grabs the kitchen towel and brings it to us when we get home. So yeah. one day, we just she just started trying to give it to him, and he would take it and carry it. Uh, you know, no real training. He's a, he's a smart pup. So Yeah, and that's how just, he helps us with the groceries as well. He grabs a bag, and he'll bring it inside or, or something. So pretty smart. Um, so Maria MB said, hashtag ask Oshi, what trick has been the most difficult for Oshi to learn? Nice video. Always glad to see his happy face. So, I love the hashtag, that's funny. Um, Oshi's hardest trick has been uh, teaching him how to speak or bark. He's not a huge barker, he doesn't like doing it, but uh, that was probably the, the hardest one. Yeah. And uh, But yeah, I mean, I, he kind of does it now after he's learned what he's supposed to do when you say speak. He's, he's good at it now, but he has to work up his little bark, which is funny. But uh, yeah, that's probably been the hardest trick. Yeah, um, let's see, the delivery guy. Uh, hi guys, I was curious to see what kind of dog you're feeding the beautiful golden boy. Um, yeah, the rest is not a question, so I'm trying to save time here. <laughs> um, but yeah, we feed him Blue Freedom, uh, dry cable. Um, I've been thinking about moving him to a raw diet though, just because he's spoiled and he deserves it. So, <laughs> uh, and that was from Craig in Iowa, a username delivery guy. Okay. Um... You um, dig it with Nelly as I love Ochi. He looks so much like my boy Maximus. What kind of food do you feed him? So we kind of answered already the, 
the Blue Buffalo uh, mm -hmm. Freedom. So that's that's what he eats. And then Mike Miller said, "How do you keep Oshi's coat looking so beautiful and shiny? How many baths does he how many baths does he get a month? Um, so we just brush him a few times a week. And uh, like we said earlier, if he goes to the marina or the beach, we'll bathe them ourselves. But he goes to the groomer once a month to get professionally groomed, of course." <coughs> Um, we already had this question. Brenda Yoder asked the same thing about preparing for a golden pup. Um, let's see. So, Yash Mara said, yay, a vlog. All the wider requests of it would be so much fun. Um, and then he went on and he said, uh, he gave us a suggestion. And then for his question was, what is the Oshi's daily routine? How many hours does he sleep? How much time did he spend on all napping and all that stuff? And also, how much time does it take you to record a video and edit it? And then he says he loves Oshi, so thank you. Um, but, yeah, so uh, Oshi's daily routine. Obviously, we get up, we go to work. Oshi stays home alone for a few hours. Uh, Jesse will sometimes come home for lunch to spend some time with Oshi. And then we're home at the end of the day. And we just, you know, just normal daily stuff. And obviously, we'll let Oshi out and... You know, spend some time with him because he's been home alone all day sleeping. Yeah, he spends more time alone than I would like, but I only work about five to ten minutes away, so I come home for lunch often and let him out for, I usually get about an hour for lunch, and so I come home and let him out for a half hour or so, so he's not home all day by himself mm -hmm. um, most of the time. Yeah. Or he is most of the time, but I try, yeah. you know. Yeah. Anyways, uh... We probably should get close to wrapping this up. I don't want to drag it on so I make it boring for everybody. Um, let's see. Oh, she's sleeping. Yeah, oh, he's yeah. bored with this already. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess we'll answer like two more questions. Um, Nick Harp asks, does Oshi have any siblings? Does the whole neighborhood know Oshi? And does he like to swim? Um, he doesn't have any siblings. Maybe one day. Uh, most a lot of people in the neighborhood know he is, but uh, our houses are pretty spread out around here. If you've seen the videos, and, and I mean, we're friendly with our neighbors, but it's not like a really close knit neighborhood because people move so often being yeah. military. Um, and he does love to swim. He cries as soon as we get close to like the water if we're going to the beach or like mm -hmm. the marina or something. Um, do you have any other questions left? Um. I mean, there's a few other ones, but a lot of them have been very similar. His name and what do we feed him and stuff like that. And we appreciate the, the questions, of course. Um, there's one more. Um, which one should we do? How do you train Oshi to not put everything on the ground in his mouth when you walk him? Is it true that if you feed your golden human food, his fur will look bad? Uh, how do you train him not to pull the leash when you walk him? Thanks, by the way, great channel. I've watched every single video of Oshi. My husband and I always look forward to your new videos. And this is from Wang Zoe. Um, so, you know, when we walk Oshi, he still pulls on the leash, and I think that's our fault for not really teaching him not to pull. Yeah, we but, never uh, really <laughs> tried to train that out of him, but, yeah. He's good when I run <laughs> with him, though. So when I take him for runs with me, he'll, he'll run with me, and he doesn't pull or anything. When I stop, he stops, you know, but... Uh, when we're walking, he wants to sniff every mailbox, of course. Um, but uh, human food. So I'm terrible at this. I always give him. Yeah, she gives him. <laughs> she can't say no to him. I, I try. I no. don't give him table scraps much, but she has trouble saying no. So I give it. And he looks at me with spoiled. those puppy eyes, and he's drooling, and I feel so bad. So I mean, it's I not. give him chicken. Yeah. And it's and not a cheese. ton, and he doesn't eat anything that's like really bad for him, other yeah. than the one video where everyone was like, why did you feed him so much of that crappy cheese oh. for the pill? That, like, that's all I had. It was just for the pill, yeah. <laughs> um, but, I mean, it's it's not stuff that's terrible for him, and he doesn't get a ton of it, and, I mean, I'm sure you guys can see in the video, he's in, he's in pretty good shape, his mm -hmm. body wise, you can see his hips and everything, so. Um, so he's spoiled, but, yeah. <laughs> you know, spoiled. it's hard not to spoil him, so. I like when my husband walks away, and oh, she comes and looks at me like, hey, mom, <laughs> dad's gone, can I get some food? And, of course, I always give in, so. Yeah, he's a pretty spoiled. So, but. I think that's most of them. We may have missed a couple. There may have been some that we didn't get printed out. We're sorry that we can get to them and go ahead and Come. post them again. We'll try to answer them uh, through the comment section or whatever. Um, thanks <laughs> for all the, the subscribers. It's crazy that we're at 2,300 already and still growing. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. if you like the video, like it, comment, subscribe, share it. Uh, and again, we appreciate it. Come here, Osh. Come say goodbye. Up. Come here. Come on. Come on up. Come on, buddy. Come on up. He's Come like, on. No. Jump, jump, jump over here, up, up. over here. You up. can do it, you can do it. Up. Come on.
on, up, come on, up, come on, come on. He's like, I don't want to. Up. Turn around. Oh, you're a big boy. You're a big, oh, big baby. All right, guys. Well, Bye, guys. thank you and bye.